man. And every time we be out, we have a good time. So uh, Derek is sort of like a little brother to me. I haven't really got all the uh, details, so I'll, I'll be sure to talk to him after that, uh, see if he's okay. What do y'all react to this as a team, though? I mean, you know what this other side of the ball has got. Obviously, doesn't maybe do too much for y'all on defense, uh, other than maybe tighten up a few things. But what are they like without David Goffins? Uh, obviously, they're they're not as explosive with Derek, because Derek is a great player, a future NFL player. So uh, they, I think they still could be explosive. They have a whole bunch of talent left in their receiver core. With, uh, Justin Hunter, uh, CP, uh, Zach Rogers, those guys. So uh, I think we can still get the uh, job done and uh, click on off and off. Chris, do you look at something like this happening differently because you're you know, senior and one of the leaders on the team than you would have like, two years ago? I mean, is it more upsetting and more, you know, is it just kind of, just not, kind of approach it differently than you would have if you were like a sophomore kind of starting start out? Uh, no, I not really approach it differently. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I wasn't upset because Derek is a close friend of mine. He's like a little brother. So once I heard the news, I was pretty much disappointed in Derek a little bit, but I haven't really gotten all the details. So once I talked to him, I'm pretty much go for it. But I guess, I mean, when you hear it, when, now that in the position you're in, you go out on the practice field, make sure that it's not a distraction, make sure you talk to guys and keep their heads up, that kind of thing. Whereas in the past, you might have just been one of the guys wondering, you know, what had happened when he was coming back. Oh, no doubt. Once I, once we heard the news, like I said, I went right to Justin Hunter. Uh, told him, let's go. Went up to CP, told him, let's go. Zach Rogers and all those guys. And I think they're going to get the job. And, you know, shifting gears and looking at NC State, what have you guys seen so far? How much have you, you know, really started looking at them? And you know, kind of what's one or two things that jump out as keys to stop them? Uh, they're explosive offense. They have an uh, explosive receiver. They have a great quarterback, a good running back, a good shifty running back. And uh, they do a lot of shifts and motion, try to get the defense off the head. So we got to do a good job of communicating on the defensive end and just rally to the ball and make um, tackles. And where is that kind of progress? I was talking to Coach Nasseri on, on, I guess, Saturday, media day. He was talking about that's, you know, handling movement, knowing what our counters are, that kind of thing pre snap is one of the things we're focused on. Is that been a big deal this week in practice? Or? Yeah, that's a big deal. Today we had a whole bunch of uh, shift and motion periods. We, we spent like half of the Half the whole practice on shifts and motions, so I think game day will be pretty good. And how is it? Is it help having Herman back to be you know, kind of the, communicate between the linebackers, secondary, make sure everybody's in the same coverage, the same reads? Yeah, it helps a lot. Uh, Herman, he's a guy that's a film, right? He's always watching film. Being that he's graduated already, I kind of don't like that because when I'm going to class, he's going to watch film. <laughs> so uh, to have Herman out there just calling all those checks is big. Where's the overall vibe of this team now, given the news today? Is it still been, I mean, it seems like it's been pretty positive for the past month or so, pretty much for most of the offseason. Is that, is that still the case? Yeah, it's still the case because it's pretty much game week. Everyone's looking forward to the game on Friday. I think if we probably would have got a new midseason, everybody would have probably been a little disappointed, more disappointed. But we're still disappointed, but we look forward to the game week. Everybody's excited about it. Everybody excited. Undefeated, right? The whole not to be probably excited right now. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> no problem. How did, how did the depth chart get presented to you guys? Have you guys known what it was going to be for a while, or was it great to find out yesterday? Uh, I, pretty, to be honest, I still don't know the oh, they gave chart. us They gave us one today. Just oh, for today. real? Yeah. yeah. You, you were first team. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much been rolling in guys here and there. The whole the whole, uh, the whole whole training camp. I was with the tools for the start of the training camp, so I pretty much didn't know nothing. And you know, just kind of – is there, a, you know, you've been here a while. Is there a chance that, you know, once that depth chart comes out, once it gets into game week prep, guys, you have to watch guys who aren't that too deep, kind of slacking off and getting frustrated. Is that something you pay attention to as a senior? Oh yeah, that stuff like that happens every year, no matter what what level of sports you're playing. Uh, but we got to continue to encourage those guys. It's a long season, uh, just like last season. We had, uh, unfortunately, we had a lot of injuries last season. So to encourage those guys with those things and just keep them keep them positive is going to be cool. I know you guys have kind of really started getting into the media and the preparation for NC State. But I mean, they're not new to you. You guys have been looking at them. When was the first time you looked at them? Um, my first time looking at them was the spring. Coach Sad threw a little bit of here and there uh, with those shifts of motion in the spring. So uh, we just kind of tightened down and just getting to know them a little bit better. What do you, you know, when you watch them, what do you see? Uh, I, see a I see a team that likes to get the ball out in space. Uh, they have a quick receiver number four. Uh, he likes to make moves with the ball. He's an explosive guy that can make a miss. How much different is it playing? This kind of game instead of playing team around Montana. Just, uh, from, just from all summer being around, you know, working out and all that is, is, is that you have that in your mind when you when you're working out in the summer? Uh, yes, sir. The whole summer, the only thing we've been thinking about was Atlanta. A lot of guys excited to play in the Georgia Dome. Uh, <laughs> AJ Johnson, those guys, they're from they're from the Georgia area, so he's real, real excited. Brian Randolph, he said every, uh, his first game of high school, his senior year, he played in the Georgia Dome. So all those guys are excited. I got a chance to play in the Georgia Dome and Chick fil A Bowl, so I'm pretty much excited also. When were you guys actually told about today's news? Uh, right before practice, uh, right before the uh, special teams period. Okay. And, and what kind of how was it presented to, to you guys? Uh, Coach just uh, presented it to us, just part of just like he 
uh, presented it to you guys. So they uh, the news about the Rick. Mm -hmm. uh, when I once I heard the news, I was a little disappointed, but. As I heard the news, I went straight to Justin Hunter. Uh, CP told the guys, let's go. Uh, step up and make plays with offense. Pretty much for the team. Were you surprised when he told you that? Oh, yeah, I was very surprised. I think uh, Derrick was on the right path. I pretty much don't know the details about it right yeah. now. So I'm uh, try to try to reach out to him, try to talk to him, and uh, see how he's doing. I, everyone's seen the the receiving core with him, with, without him, without Hunter. <laughs> with what uh, is going to be put out there against NC State, how would you kind of describe What's left without the guy, the leading, you know, uh, returning guy? Right. Uh, last year we didn't have Justin Hunter. Uh, Justin Hunter's back this year, but unfortunately we're not having Derrick for the first game. But we have uh, new acquisitions coming along. We have uh, CP, who's a great, great player, and we have Zach Rogers, who's an experienced guy, who's healthy, who's uh, gotten uh, stronger and bigger uh, throughout the offseason. So I think we're pretty much going to be okay. Pretty, you've been going against CP for about a month, a month and a half now, six weeks. Um, is he ready? I, I know he's obviously I think ready to play just physically, but. Is he ready to maybe take on that big of a role that, you know, being that number two or number even maybe even a number one guy, like basically filling the rake shoes if he's, you know, not coming back? I wouldn't necessarily say he's as ready as he needs to be right now because we haven't really played a yeah. game yet. But I think once he get his feet wet, once he get up out of there and get all those butterflies out of the way, because he's, he's a fast guy, he can run like a win, and he can play uh, he can play well against the first cover, so I think he'll be fine. A few more, one more. I'm good. You're good.